All right, well, I'm gonna head down to the water now and I'm gonna get my camera set up. I'm gonna get in the water and I'm gonna see what's going on, what the amphibians are doing. Again, I'm not hearing a lot of wood frogs tonight. It's a little bit colder, but the spring peepers are sure out and I'm hoping that there's lots of spotted salamander activity in the vernal pool. Well, there are a lot of spotted salamanders in this fernal pool now after the rain we had last night. Unfortunately, I was here a little earlier than that rain and I didn't get to see all of the uh, spotted salamanders that I wanted to see, but tonight they're really active and I'm really excited uh, to get some footage of them. I've got these new loom cubes that are waterproof lights and combining that with a GoPro, it's awesome to be able to get underwater footage, underwater video of these spotted salamanders as they're getting ready to breed. What you are seeing here are spotted salamander males that have recently arrived at the vernal pool. If you watch carefully, you will see that some of the males are squeezing their bodies for a few moments, and then when they move, you can see they have left behind a small white spermatophore. This spermatophore is a capsule of sperm that is extruded by the male salamander through his venter, which is located near the hind legs. It is reported that some males will deposit their sperm on top of the spermatophores of other males to give themselves a competitive advantage. Once the males have dropped their spermatophores, they will sometimes come together in large groups while waiting for females to arrive. This is called congressing. When a female enters the pool, one or more males will break away from the congress and try to attract her with a nuptial dance that includes rubbing her body with his head. If the female is interested, she will sit on his spermatophore and fertilize her eggs. Female spotted salamanders deposit their eggs on twigs, branches, grasses, or even directly on the pool bottom. Most egg masses contain between 20 and 200 eggs. At the center of each egg is a brown to black embryo, which is surrounded by two white layers or envelopes. Around the outside of the entire egg mass is a clear to white gelatinous layer. It typically takes around three to four weeks for these eggs to hatch. This is my third night in a row at this vernal pool in the Wolf Hill Forest Preserve in Smithfield, Rhode Island. Last night there was a lot of amphibian activity after we had a little bit of rain and the spotted salamanders were starting to get active and of course the wood frogs were chorusing. Saw a few female wood frogs last night, not very many female spotted salamanders. Most of the ones that were here are males and they're waiting for the females to arrive. Tonight, there's a few wood frogs calling, but there's a lot more spring peepers. So it's gonna be interesting to see um, what activity is going on in the water in the pool. I'm slowly making my way over to where I heard wood frogs calling earlier tonight in hopes that maybe there have been some eggs laid and I might be able to see them.
Ooh. And jackpot. I knew I heard them over here last night. I knew there was enough of them that they'd be laying some eggs. There's a whole lot of wood frog eggs over here. Found a new spot this year and boy does this help me out. Cause I'm not you. Ooh. I'm actually looking at a wood frog pair in Implexus and I think she's laying her eggs right now. And he's fertilizing them. Well, this is spectacular. We've got a few pairs over here in Amplexus. I don't know how well I'm gonna to get to them. I'm gonna try. There's fresh eggs, as well as some that have been here for a couple of days. You can see how they've laid their eggs in the green briar here, so it's a little bit protected. Man, there's just so many eggs out here. Look at them all. Wood frogs are explosive breeders and tend to breed and lay their eggs in clusters within the same area. Each wood frog egg mass can contain as many as 1,500 eggs. The eggs have a black and white embryo at the center and one clear layer surrounding the embryo. There is no outer gelatinous layer in these egg masses, distinguishing them from the spotted salamander egg masses. It typically takes one to two weeks for these eggs to hatch, with warmer temperatures accelerating development. This is fantastic. I wait all year for this. It's so exciting to be able to see these amphibians in their native habitat and enjoy them while I'm here.